And now, around the world and around the corner, it's the David Bowers Awards, bringing the best in indie music to millions of listeners worldwide with your host, the David Bowers. We've got a fantastic lineup of guests, our entire crew here at the Asylum, and me, I'm John Bon Jovial. And now, here's the voice of indie music, the David Bowers. I certainly am. Thank you very much, John Bon Jovial, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, the legendary John Bon Jovial, and uh, we are so glad that he could join us today, and we're even more glad that you all could join us today because we get another fun show with a lot of good music, a lot of new music from uh, new artists, including the gentleman we're going to play right now. This is a uh, gentleman who was uh, introduced to us by an old friend of ours, the uh, British producer from the UK, Stuart Epps, who, as you may recall, uh, was one of the people who developed Elton John into the megastar that he is today. And, uh, hey, who knows? Perhaps he has another one here. The guy's name is Liam Price. And uh, contrary to what the title of his tune says, he's not going to disappear right away. But the song is Disappear. Saw you there thinking, how cute are you? Knowing how you and me were meant to be Just you and me running wild and free Unknown thoughts running straight through me Thoughts about how we were nearly 16 When I first swore to myself I wouldn't be without you near and I just need you, baby, talking about me I never knew how hard it would be To sit without you near But that was the case I was put in my place I never knew how to get you here Couldn't even get you near I'm fearful of love running away, it's unclear but I can't let you Released today, November 1st, 
He, Liam is a singer. Well, obviously, you know, he's a singer. He's from the West Midlands of the UK. And, uh, well, he rocketed into stardom uh, following a performance, which he was a knockout on, I'm told, on the UK program, The Voice Kids UK. That was a couple of years ago. He auditioned for Jesse J, Will I Am, Danny Jones, and, of course, his eventual mentor, the British pop princess Pixie Locke. And I haven't had the pleasure of uh, of hearing Pixie Locke before. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to look into that young lady and see what uh, what she sounds like because I'm not familiar with her. However, I've become familiar with Liam Price from the song you just heard, and uh, who knows, maybe we'll get to hear more from him. I know uh, Stuart Epps is very high on this young man, and uh, we're happy that he gave us the chance to share it here in the United States, and we hope that you liked it, drop us a line, let us know, because that's how we find out what you do like and what you don't like. So uh, let us know what you think. Our uh, email is a very simple one, David, at thedavidbowers.com. I keep it simple so that I can remember it, so you should be able to. John Bon Jovial, how are you doing this first week of November? The first week of November, I can't believe it, the 11th month. Uh, how has yeah. this year gone by as quickly as it has? And I find that with each passing year, they seem to go just a little bit faster. And that that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I agree. You know, I agree no, completely. I, I, I tell you what, the summertime has finally gone away here, at least for a few days. We've been having uh, high temperatures in the upper 70s with lower humidity. It's been just absolutely gorgeous. And, of course, at the time of this recording, it's the day after Halloween, uh, went out and bought – 400 chocolate bars, little minis, and we were left <laughs> with about 50 of them. The neighborhood that I live in uh, here in Naples, Florida, uh, is just notorious for getting slammed every single year. And this is, was our 26th Halloween in this house, and it just amazes me how many kids – come by and some and you know what what was really refreshing about halloween this year is that, that easily without being prompted 95 percent of the kids said thank you awesome. and i thought that was re- really cool that is refreshing yes you're absolutely right it is refreshing and uh, uh it was one of the things i noticed this year from the reports i'm getting from people i talk to the news even you yeah even you but <laughs> seriously <laughs> the what, what, what Trick or treating for him, God. is very yeah. spotty. I, I mean, I heard uh, I've had people tell me that they got slammed while houses two blocks away didn't get anybody. So it, it, apparently, the uh, tricksters or treat seekers, whatever, uh, they've got a uh, they've got some kind of a plan. They know the areas to hit or something because it is it's gotten increasingly spotty. Really, really strange. Well. I will tell you this, that, uh, you know, based on years past, this was actually a a pretty light year. You know, last year, because of COVID, of course, uh, Halloween was for the most part canceled. And I think we maybe got a half dozen kids at the door last year was all. Now, we knew it would be busier this year, but still only about half of what it has been in years Mm. past. There's an area here uh, in Florida, southwest Florida, where, uh, where my wife and I live, uh, called Golden Gate Estates, and there are these uh, lots that are anywhere from an acre and a half to two acres. And so because they're so big, there's really no trick-or-treating out there because the kids have to walk, a, you know, a third of a mile to get to the next house. Yeah, So they do. They bring them. There's about three or four neighborhoods in the Naples area where they bring these kids to, and mm-hmm. they bring them in by the hundreds. It is crazy. <laughs> And we look forward to it. I mean, yeah, it's a little on the expensive side because of the candy and all that. But, you know, it is so worth it because you see these little kids come in and they're, just, they're dressed up so cool. It, it really is. And, and, you know, you get these little, <laughs> it's great. I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a, it's a treat for the adults as well as the kids. By the way, oh, speaking yeah. of treats, we want to thank our House band Titty Bingo, who's provided our theme song for lo these many eight years we've been doing this. Holy crow, speaking of the time flying, eight years. Wow. Anyway, check them out online. Some good old Texas back porch rock and roll from Titty Bingo. You find them online at tittybingo.com. 
Check them out. You're going to like them. Also, while we're saluting people, our friend Steve Litvak and his rock and roll rumble show that follows the David Bowers on the David Bowers Awards on Rochester Free Radio. And I have to be careful because he's probably listening to us right now on his way into work. If you're listening to us on, uh, in Rochester on WRFZ, Rochester Free Radio. Uh, Steve, drive carefully. We need you to follow us because we're going to end promptly on time. But uh, we want to thank uh, Steve for being a longtime uh, supporter and fan of the David Bowers Awards. And also, we want to mention that our friends at Anchor FM have made it possible for you to be a part of the David Bowers Awards. If you'd like to help support the support of indie artists and music and our show, simply click the link at the end of the show on Anchor FM and chip in whatever you can, whatever you feel is comfortable for you. So if you'd like to help us support indie artists and their music, just listen on Anchor FM, and then at the bottom, click the uh, chip in link and chip in whatever you feel you can. It's that simple, and it'll make you kind of a part of the David Bowers Award, supporting indie artists and music. Speaking of indie artists and music, we have one standing by waiting to talk with you, and we'll get with them right after we listen to a track from their group They're called Once Great Estate. And this is Shelbyville Inn. 